Well, Tish, the hour of parting is near. Lutz, they're French! Stop the car! Uncle Bob's a throttle is changed! No fair, no fair! What a lovely thing to say. Tish, the hour of parting is near to leave this room. Yes, it has its own quiet elegance. It's so you. So us, Gomez. Lurch, he was always so sentimental. Playing our song. <sighs> Darling, I bought you a going away present. Tish! An umbrella. You know me like a book. I was afraid the weather might turn nasty. And you know how miserable sunshine can be. I shall pray for clouds. And a little thunder and lightning. Remember our honeymoon? That heavenly place? Who could forget Death Valley? Darling, your present. Uh, oh, yes, my present. It's nicely ventilated. How do I look? You'd look wonderful in anything, mon cher. Mon cher, Tish, that's French. What French does to me? It turns my blood to hot, bubbling muscatel. Tish, speak some more. Soup du jour, Eiffel Tower, anything. I'll be right back. Bad timing thing, but uh, thanks anyway. <laughs> Tish, the Lodge Committee is reminding me not to be late. <laughs> Will you be proud of me when I'm a grand, exalted serpent? Of course, Gomez, darling. But I'm proud of you the way you are. A first-class snake. <laughs> First-degree snake. <laughs> Thank you, Thing. Darling. Isn't that sweet? The children are playing hide and boo with Uncle Festa. Three and seven, sixteenths, ready or not, here I come! Uncle Faustus, did you rattle your chains? <laughs> Uncle Faustus, he likes his little jokes. This time, Uncle Faustus will stay out of it. 
Won't you, Uncle Faustus? You see? You may start counting, Uncle Faustus. Ten time out counting Swahili! <laughs> okay, go hide! I think your brother handled that beautifully. Tisha, worry. About Pancho. No, no, not about Pancho. He's an Adams. He knows the code of honesty, loyalty, fidelity. I trust him. It's his blood I don't trust. <laughs> There's a saying, Tish. Beware the brother who once courted your wife. I have a feeling you made up that saying yourself. Of course I made it up. I like to be close to the source. Tish, why? Why, oh, why did you invite him? Because this is the season, my love. And we decided to invite only family this year, remember? And a brother certainly qualifies as family. Besides, I'm sure Pancho's hot blood has cooled off. You forget, Tish. He's an Adams. Trust me, Gomez. <laughs> Yes, Lurch. Take Mr. Adams' luggage downstairs, please. Yes, Mrs. Adams. Lurch always was a handy fellow, my dear. Good legs, too. Time, Morticia. Stiff upper leaf. That's better. Here. Thumbs up, Charles. Morticia, I've never been away during Halloween season before. Do you think I'm being too selfish? Never, Gomez. You've wanted to be a serpent all your life. You've worked hard for it. You're right. I've been an ordinary snake long enough. I shall return. <laughs> oh, dear. Lurch has got his pterodactyl net out again. Oh, man, he doesn't have a Halloween. Well, with some people, it's Santa Claus. At least pterodactyls are his only aberration. Yes. But how do you tell someone you love that this is the 20th century and pterodactyls are an endangered species? <laughs> I hate to leave all these treasures. Nikita, Lindsay's favorite teddy bear. And who can forget Cousin Ahab's famous last words? Don't give up the fish. Tish! My train. My train. Don't let Pancho near my train, please. I promise, mon cher. Mon cher, that's French! Tish, speak some more. Will you base? Call the sack. Charles de Gaulle, anything. It's either this or give up becoming the grand exalted serpent. This, this. Are you willing to remain a first class snake forever? First degree snake. <laughs> Mother Frump. Mother got a hold of an old broom and fly recipe. She hopes to be flying by Halloween. It'll be good to have one of the family in the air again. <laughs> Don't torture yourself, Gomez. You've already said goodbye to the children. One last glance. Ah, niece and nephew. Playing your innocent childhood games. Children, where is Uncle Fester? We buried him, Uncle Poncho. Ah. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Where? In here someplace. <laughs> Children, have you forgotten the family motto? You must never bury anybody without leaving a marker. He's taken over already, even the family motto. Here he is. Pugsley, isn't that a little deep? <laughs> Speak a little louder, Uncle Fester! Tell us a story, Uncle Poncho. Very well, children. Better hurry and dig yourself out, Uncle Fester. I'm going to tell the legend of Cousin Shah. He's telling the legend. He's wearing my suit. Here we go, kids. 
Everybody ready? Ah. Now, a long time ago... Now, now, you forgot to say once upon a time. Very well, Uncle Fester, very well. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, in a little village, there was this tiny little boy named Deedlebolt, a very good boy. And he knew the legend of Cousin Shy. Cousin Shy is the special spirit of Halloween, the spirit who carves happy smiles on a specially hidden pumpkin and leaves beautiful gifts at the feet of the Halloween scarecrow. And then there was one day when Deedlemote wanted to find out if Cousin Shy was real. And so this little boy carved a mouth on the giant pumpkin. And, and, and guess what happened? It talked! It talked! Yes. And it said, I'm the spirit of Cousin Shy. I belong to the whole world. You will never see me. But if children are very good, I will pay them a visit every Halloween. And, and if you leave a pumpkin in a very special place, I will carve it for you and leave gifts under your scarecrow. And that's the story of Cousin Shah. Hey, wait a minute. You forgot to say, and they lived happily ever after. I forgot. <laughs> Uncle Fester, you may say. I have to say goodbye to my big brother. Thank you. You're welcome. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> well, Tisha, I'm not going. I should be telling that story, not Pancho. Pancho never could tell that story as well as you, my dear. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> Can you imagine forgetting once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away? <laughs> Well, the bus for Tombstone waits for no man. Wait a while and I'll get you there on my broom. It's the only way to fly. This is a test flight. Fly me, I'm Mother Frump. We really move our tail for you. <laughs> Take the bus. <laughs> well, thanks for trying. Adios. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Do you think Shakespeare really said that? Why not invite him to the party and ask him? We can't do that. You said yourself it's only family this year. Oh. Tish. Every moment away from you is an eternity. Every second an eon. With all your luggage, I thought you'd use the station wagon. Couldn't. You know how the children prefer it. Such a good father. Darling, when will you return from your journey? <sighs> Six o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> You're all right. Two, kitty cat. <laughs> Goodbye, dear brother. Adiosito. I'll take care of everything here. <laughs> Au revoir, mon mari, mon cher. Lunch! That's French! Stop the car! Galilea! Galilea! French. Morticia, you must restrain yourself, por favor. I'm an Adams. Our blood. We have a code. We. Oui. <laughs> Had. No! Don't stop that! Remember, Pancho, remember the code. Yes. See, see, see. The code. That deal you made with his lodge worked perfect. With all that luggage, you'll be gone for weeks. <laughs> Suggestion. If he does come back, I would like to contract on him. Suggestion under advice. Now, the Adams family is loaded. If everything goes as planned, we'll clear a nice million on this. Yeah. Maybe more. Maybe more, eh? <laughs> 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 I have a complication that's beginning to take form. Well, give it to me when it's fact. 
I despise phrases like beginning to take form. Well, uh, I'm only saying that all of that gibberish that we're picking up from the Adams place could be cold. Nah. How else do you explain things like hide and boo and first class snake? <laughs> first degree snake. <laughs> oh, those are just titles in his lodge. Well, what about that ridiculous nonsense about Cousin Shy? Uh huh. We're beginning to get some action in the second floor bedroom. Is that all of the room we can see? Well, we couldn't get cameras everywhere. The, the, this is on telephoto right, right from across the streets. Uh-huh. Somebody's cutting roses off the stems. And throwing them away? And keeping the stems. Explanation, please. Uh, it could be visual code. No. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Singh. Hello? Caramilla. Did you get the roses I sent? Yes, the thorns are lovely. They're American uglies. Let me tell you something, Morticia. Tombstone, Arizona is nothing without you. What a lovely thing to say. Gomez, darling, you must excuse me. I have to go help Mama with the party menu. It's a strange thing. But I can feel your presence all around me, like a cocoon. Somehow, I'm able to picture you precisely as you are. It's a wonderful faculty. Darling, don't worry about the party. Pancho and I are taking care of everything. Goodbye, mon mari glorieux. Mon mari, Tish, that's French. You know what that does to me. <laughs> Gomez! <laughs> Gomez! Gomez! Pancho? Don't worry, dear brother. I'm taking care of everything. Adios. It's so nice when a woman knows she's wanted by a man who can't have her. Soaking up in her room. Her room and fly recipe blew up last night. Her maid's helping me. Dear mother, she has her heart set on flying before the moon's over Miami. That'll be the day. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Fingers. Now, about the hors d'oeuvres. Not now, Gomez, darling, later. We'll need about two dozen hopping eggs. I think a four inch hop is enough, don't you? You get them jumping any higher than that, and they hop right off the plate, and people step on them. I do you hate to hear an egg scream? <laughs> How about molten eye of new pudding for dessert? Enchanté. People like a pudding that can look up to them. Enchanté. That's French. Ay, uh, Morticia, por favor, you know what that does to me. Remember the code. I remember it, I remember it, but you have turned my heart to lava. Isn't it interesting? Both brothers' emotions are triggered by French. No, remember I have the same trigger for Gaelic, Gaelic Greek, and Sanskrit, and not to mention Swahili and Yiddish. <laughs> Mama, you've soaked poor Pancho. Yeah, and I also cooled his lava. <laughs> Gesundheit. I think I've broken down eye of the new pudding to mean either gun emplacement or beach bucket. Well, it's time to enter the Adams house. I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> Just give the job to Mikey. He'll do anything. Yeah. Uh, Mikey, would you like going into the Adams house? Yeah. He likes it. Door, climbing up the steps. If I may be allowed a piece of editorial, this is a piece of cake! Counting. 
tax assessor. Would you tell Miss? Would you tell Mrs. Adams that I'm here? From where I'm standing, the rooms look weirder than we thought. There's a two-headed turtle, there's an eight-foot bear, and there's a, a fish mounted on the wall with a leg sticking out of his mouth and at the ten foot. How do you do, sir? I understand you've come to assess. Yes, uh, my name is Grimm. Grimm? What a lovely name. <laughs> Somebody has cleaned the soot out of the chimney again. A beautiful three-year collection gone pop. I the days when you could get a sensitive chimney sweeper over, Mama. Uh, this is Mr. Grimm, the assessor. Show him the house, please. He's in it. <laughs> Very well. Come along. Mr. Grimm. Run along. If you'd like ribs for lunch, I'm sure Mama can dig up a spare whalebone for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello? Oh, no. No, this year it's only family. Oh, lady figures, while I think of it, add a pinch of nit blizzard to the moon bomb sauce and stir. Come on. <laughs> Needs more stirring. Well, let's go, young man. Haven't you ever seen people working in a kitchen before? And now in the kitchen, they've got two hands. One to answer the phone, and the other one to stir the soup. Soup. You always talk to luggage? <laughs> Just dusting. You strike me as a very weird young man. <laughs> well, come along. <laughs> this is where we do the laundry. Keep a few old friends. How nice. <laughs> the wrong cemetery? Stick to family. Oh. <laughs> yes, this is damp enough. Excuse me a minute. Oh, uh, garter snakes. They don't grow them the way they used to. No spring. Why, you can't get him to even hold up a girl's stockings anymore. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? <laughs> That's my oldest granddaughter. Wednesday Senior's home. Uh, feel free to look around. <laughs> Thank you, Thing. Wednesday, my dear child. Mother. Never say that we were false of heart, though absence seemed our flame to qualify. Hello, Wednesday, Junior. Hello, Pugsley, Junior. Hello, Hello Wednesday, Wednesday senior. senior. Hello, Wednesday. The dress needs letting out. <laughs> ah, my niece. Home from Music Academy. Never say that we were false of heart, though absence seemed our flame to qualify. Mother said that. Two minds in a single slough. <laughs> I, I want to apologize to all of you. I almost gave up the broom and fly recipe. I was wrong. 
I forgot one of the old family mottos, never say die. <laughs> Thank you. Well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> something for us, my child. Play something cheerful, like the blues. Oh, well, yet, Morticia, something light and gray. Oh, the piccolo. That's your father's <laughs> instrument. He's never without one. May I have an A, Lurch? I shall now play for you The Mordant Bestiary by Johann Sebastian Schwinderholt. <laughs> That's what I call music with a stick. <laughs> trying to get Mikey. We moved tonight, and he hasn't even found the safe yet. I'm gonna go put on my costume. Right. Little Bo Peep, out. <laughs> Do you realize that every time I move, the wind whistles up my drawers? <laughs> get on that receiver, now! Operation Briefcase. Come in, Operation Briefcase. <laughs> Will you holler when I get my pliers on the wisdom tooth in there? I can't see it from out there. <laughs> Lewis! How can he holler if you keep hogging him? <laughs> you see? Lewis. Sir? I, I'm getting a terrible headache. I just gotta get this tooth out. Point at it, will you please? Here, hold it. Point, just point at it. Go ahead, point at it. Um, uh, what? No. Oh, this is so good. Oh, you want to pull one? Oh, no, no, I can't. I won't. No, 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 no. You know why? Because I'm busy. Oh. I'm casing the... I mean, uh, I'm inspecting the house. Oh, I'm busy. Uh -huh. Yes. Would you like to see the playroom? Oh, the playroom. Yeah. Yes, by all means. The oh, playroom. Everything's right here. Yes. That's right. Main Get away. Get away. Get away. Look. Get away. Look. Look. Room? Oh, sure. What was that? What was what? Uh, oh, that's just old kitty cat. It's a little bigger than a kitty cat. Come on. Is he going to have Play room? Uh, yeah, sure. You got a headache or anything? Why don't you uh, try the rock? Uh, the rock? Oh, yeah, you make your muscles sink. You make your feet wide. No, please. I've got enough. I've seen enough. Let's go back upstairs. Huh? Oh, you want to go upstairs? Yes, yes. Well, I take the shortcut. Shortcut, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Don't step on kitty cat's tail. <laughs> Do I look like a guy that would step on kitty cat's tail? Hey, I'll do it. Kitty cat. 
Son, welcome home from Nairobi Medical School. Dr. Kildare never looked at me. Umgawa. 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 Uh, oh, my uh, dear uh, Mr. Grimm, I'm afraid I forgot uh, you were here. Uh, um, uh, Are you well? Uh, You're not looking very well. Perhaps uh, Senor Adams, uh, Dr. Adams. Yes. Let him take a look at you. Por favor, de acostarse aquí. Here you I don't know what happened to him, but he saw a kitty cat down here. And something must have happened. Doesn't our Dr. Adams have a lovely bedside man? I need a doctor. I always look this way. I'm all right. I'm cured. I'm cured. I'm cured. This world is sure full of weird people. Dear, dear, I congratulate you. That's the most miraculous recovery I've ever seen. Thank you, Mother. I owe it all to Dr. McGumbo. Dear Dr. McGumbo, your father and I haven't seen him for years. How is he? Great. Have a look. Ah, a perfect likeness. And how sweet of you to carry his picture. <laughs> Haven't you raised him yet? Where's the safe? Uh, Captain, little feet. Mikey, bad boy. Mikey, step on tail of kitty cat. Kitty cat. I don't know. I'm talking cat. There's a bush that chokes people, and there's a flower that eats handkerchief, and there's a, a bald headed guy who well, well, completely out of his mind. He wants to fix my back by putting me on a rack. Where's the safe? There's a servant, a man, and, and, and a woman. Nobody, just hands. One for the phone, one to stir the soup. I, I, I'm going to leave. I'm quitting. I'm going home, mommy. I'm going to go. I have to I say, I think, I don't know what, I, oh, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know. Come back here. Oh, Lando, it's no good to us in the condition he's in. Now, and wait, and wait till you hear, till you see the, the girl who plays the music, and there's no music. That's a beaut. Oh, that's a good one. You want to see that one? <laughs> now, I want to show you something. Just thinking, I wonder what put our little friend into such a state of shock. Forget about him. Look at this. What? Well, show him. You're talking to me? Please. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, on second thought, we have all this protection. <laughs> now, this is the thing that's going to make it all work. Watch. Ah, mon cher. Mon mari. French. Smoke French. Querida. Speak some more. And, uh, save some for the party. Okay? Okay. Masks. Very okay. <laughs> Chris 
Christmas and Easter bring wonderful treasures, but spirits and pumpkins bring far greater pleasure. Bravo! How thrilled your face must be to be so near that golden throat. Have you seen your children's costumes? It'll be dark in an hour, and look what they're wearing. Morticia, we mustn't stare. They're very different children, darlings. Have a good time at the party, anyway. I've never seen Wednesday look so plain. Be sure and wear a mask, darling. <laughs> this one really tears it. Now that's disgusting. And you call yourself a doctor. Oh, I'm sorry, my son. All right, all right, go and get dressed proper for the party. That's all part of today's world. Do you know Pugsley Sr. told me earlier that he'd gone to the beach in the sunlight? <laughs> yes, he said he's getting a tan. It's all the rage at his school. Schools? No discipline today. I haven't told you about Wednesday yet. She wants a Kawasaki. Well, there I can relieve your mind, Morticia. Our family is very partial to mixed marriages. It's a motorcycle. <laughs> Did you have a cake in the oven, Mama? It's that woman again. That's my kitchen, not an airport. <laughs> You've got to admit, I'm starting to get out to you. I know you'll do it. Look who's back. Oh, big eyes. He's not supposed to be back yet. Well, that means we go to plan B. Plan B. I'm home. I'm home. Where is everybody? Oh, yes, Lurch. It's a beautiful costume, but where is everybody? Corn Fenner's in a blip. Cousin Ed, with that hat, nobody will recognize you. Where's the family? Mark Lippin, Mark and the girl. Trimming a scarecrow without me? Oh, show me. Show me. It's time for all good little bats to be in bed. Ah, I think the Scarecrow needs a few more cobwebs on his right arm. Get your spider, Wednesday, Junior. Yes, Mother. Thank you, Thing. Okay, Homer, spin. You know something, Matusha? There is nothing like a family gather around the old Halloween Scarecrow. Yes, and if Cousin Shy comes this year, there'll be gifts and love and Halloween oh, carols. Yes. Listen, everybody, I think the youngest should put their head on top of the scarecrow. That means you, Wednesday, and up you go. Unhand that child. A man goes a serpenting and returns to find his, his place usurped by a brother. <coughs> a brother who lifts his child up to put a head Scarecrow? Well, after all, you weren't here, old man. That's true, Mumeli. Mumeli. It's French. Morticia. <laughs> Usurped. Usurped. Pancho, really, I don't like to criticize, but I'm afraid your Adam's coat is wearing thin. <laughs> Gomez. Gomez? Cousin it. Morning. A man comes home and finds himself an outcast. What's a man to do? Go on if niggers, Cindy Bear, and watch. You can say that. You're a bachelor. Morticia's the only woman in my life. Why aren't you in the area about her? 
Calling me a pea brain is not a solution. <laughs> You're right. It's the old paternal rejection syndrome. Cousin Shy won't respect me if I sulk. Double lemons, it comes to you. You're right. I should think of the children and Halloween. Yeah. Thank you, Cousin It. You're, you're all, you're, uh, what are you, anyway? Oh, yes, you're all man, of course. <laughs> Hello, family. My Hello, uh, Up you go, Wednesday, Junior. Oh, I love it when you get your head on straight, Gomez. <laughs> well, let's just hope the scarecrow does the same. Sister dear, any interesting men here? Poncho's upstairs. Hey, no more. <laughs> okay. Now I'll go in with the others. You two go around the back and through the kitchen. Now remember, you look like the host, so play it that way. Oh, go on, go on. the Boston branch of the family. <laughs> Welcome. Our house is your house. Uh, we like to think so. <laughs> hey, taste this, Morticia. Oh, taste it. It's the icing for the salamander cake. And not creosote. Perfect. <laughs> Are you sure? The recipe says it's got to be strong enough to stun a canary. <laughs> it's perfect. Mama, I don't like to criticize, dear, but it, it's not very stunning. Make up your mind, girl. One minute it's perfect, the next minute it's flat. Mama, tip, tip. Isn't the music lovely? And doesn't Cousin Sloth play a melodic banjo? Yes, and look at Wednesday Senior. <laughs> what talent. Fantastic. Makes you want to sit in. <laughs> Where's your boy? Why don't you dance? Yes, pick some lovely lady. After all, Halloween is a democratic and romantic holiday. You'll do better without the cowl. Let the ladies see your handsome face. Oh. <laughs> I found him! I found him! He was hiding. I was not hiding. I was meditating. <laughs> 
In the dumbwaiter? Sounds reasonable. Let's dance. Oh. <laughs> it's a new stack. Shall we, my dear? Now, we have mingled, we have danced. All this dancing, I call it plow. <laughs> the thing I want you to do is... Dance. No! I mean, no thanks. No, I don't mean no thanks, I mean no! <laughs> Taken care of. But I'll need about an hour. Well, go on. You Boston Adams really know how to give a lift to a party. <laughs> with Gomez. You always have big eyes for Morticia. You've always had big eyes for him. Well, then why aren't you dancing with her? I will. Me too. Uh, now, look, we'd better split up. You take the second floor, you take this floor, and I'll check below. And remember, the safe could be anywhere. Morticia, dance with me. Come on, Gomez, let's go. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Get back here. Fools. That's the whole project is way off schedule. <laughs> We're to try and get loose. Is that the game? This Boston branch is extremely innovative. <laughs> they bulge nicely, too. <laughs> we used to duck for apples, but I like their game much better. <laughs> In a way, we've never been closer. I wonder if the rules permit us to try and escape. I must help Mama with the hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres, dish, that's French. Oh, speak some more. Oh, I feel so good, I want to get loose. I know what, we'll play the old piccolo game. I still have my card in local 802. Now, did you dispose of them? They're not going anywhere. Oh, Mr. Adams. We loved your game. But if you'll excuse me, I have to go and see Mama about the order. The refreshments. Cousin, it. Did she speak French? Are you sure? We have a similar game in our part of the country. It's called Dunk and Thrash. <laughs> Only you play it in a swamp. In a swamp. Or in Muck and Mire, if you prefer. It's a matter of taste. See you later. <laughs> Get him. And this time, I don't want any excuses. What about the woman? She's going to be busy in the kitchen. Now, remember, I'll need a full hour. Go on. Get him. Hello, thing. Any news? Oh, well, keep me posted. By the way, nice costume. <laughs> Having a nice time at the party? Oh. Well, oh, again? Say, why not play Eastern rules this time? That's where you blindfold the contestants. It's really fun. <laughs>
You are so pliant tonight, Morticia, and so affectionate. And why not, mon cher? That's French. <laughs> Aren't you going to stop me? May not. <laughs> Does it? May I? <laughs> I want you to go upstairs. Most people keep their jewels in the bedroom. The real Morticia is in the kitchen. I have taken care of Gomez for keeps. Go, go, go. I see you've had assertiveness training. I admire that. Especially within the family. <laughs> Cozy, but it inhibits doing push-ups. Well, ready or not, here I come. These hop and these just lie there. <laughs> I'm sure if you have the family dexterity, you can catch a hopping egg on the first hop. Ready? Go. Ahead. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Do be careful where you step, Mr. Adams. I hate to hear an egg scream. <laughs> See, you're upset, but look at it this way. Life is short in the hors d'oeuvre jungle. <laughs> well, excuse me. I enjoyed playing the game. Let's play it again sometime soon. When I said soon, I didn't have this in mind, gentlemen. You see, the witching hour is approaching, and before Cousin Shy arrives, the children have to be put to bed, and somebody has to carve the crocodile. This game is getting complicated. Goes against the grain, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cheat a bit. Thing? Sorry to take you away from the party. Oh, thanks a lot, old boy. The piccolo, please? Where's your partner? Upstairs. All right. She's in the way. Take care of her. Go dance with her. I've taken care of a Gomez for keeps again. That leaves me free to poke around down here. Go on, go on, go on. Aha! There you are! <laughs> you scream. <laughs> no more games, eh, Mr. Adams? <laughs> I have my guests to think of. <laughs> Ah, I believe my good news has arrived. Pardon me. Thank you, Ben. I'm not exalted grand serpent thing. Not even first degree snake. Been reduced to worm. <laughs> Second class. I 
and put the children to bed. Mm. Your mask is very becoming, though, Miss. You've learned a few new steps in Tombstone, Arizona, mon cher. That's French. Gomez! <laughs> Matisha, I couldn't wait to continue our dance. You're so pliant, so affectionate, so nuzzly. Nice. Nice. Yeah. When, mon frere? That's French. Okay. If you don't remember the code, I shall become very cross with you. second-class worm. <laughs> Stranger kisses my wife. Brother kisses my wife. Wearing my clothes. Smoking my cigars. To be or not to be. Not to be. Morticia, I was looking for you. I wanted to apologize for almost breaking the code while we were dancing. How much? Mon Freya? Will you be cross with me? May no. <gasps> May no? <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, brother. My blood overcame the code. You were a cad, sir, and I should thrash you. Worm has no standing. No, no. Not even with his wife. You are depressed, mon ami. Mon cher. Mon cher. Mon cher. She gave me permission, brother. Shall be pistols at dawn, sir. Are you quite finished? I. 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 I was upset. I've been reduced to worm by my lodge. Anyway, I knew it wasn't you. It didn't taste right. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not the grand exalted serpent, mon cher. Mon cher, mon cher, that's French. Took your steaming whips off my wife, but rather my blood is still percolating. Percolating? This is my wife, not Mrs. Olson. I'll send you a nice letter of apologies when this is all over. If you can still write. When you've got it, you've got it. <laughs> Salamander sauce, lady fingers. She's gone to the party, Mama. You just can't get reliable help these days. <laughs> Will you be flying by the witching hour, Mother? Like a 747. Well, keep the noise low. You know how the neighbors complain. You don't appeal to me. 
Where are we going? Tower. The tower? No, I don't. I'm not that kind of a girl. No, I don't want to go to the tower. I've done this sort of thing before. Please, stop it, will you? Like How? <laughs> yourself we're almost there hold it just a minute oh, oh. i'll be right there oh. one more bubble oh, oh hold it hold it we have to get to the launching pad <laughs> Buy a pterodactyl. <laughs> Frighten pterodactyl. Shh. is a holiday and a very special holiday for the Adams family. Everyone here is a relative. I'm sorry you're mistaken, Morticia. These two aren't. Well, Bones Lafferty and Louis the Lord. 
Well, you must be mistaken, officer. These are members of our family. No, no, no. No, we, 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 we just said that. We're not members. There was a lion, a lion in, in the basement. And I believe right out the window. There was no lion here. It was a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Fuzzy, and take us away. Take us away, Fuzzy, please. I'll never get away from Do you know I had a feeling they weren't relatives? Their New England accent was deplorable. The witching hour. It's time to wake the children and, uh... I'll do it, big brother. Wait a minute, it's a father's job. Darling, why don't you see if Cousin Shy has carved the pumpkin yet? Morbid, be of good cheer. <sighs> what is it? He's here. Cousin Shy is here. Yes, I feel the chill. Lovely. I just saw him carving a pumpkin. Come, we must go to the children. Yes. Okay. You see, Caramia. Father has a special feeling on a night like this. He remembers his children's first Halloween. Children? Pancho's in there with my children. Darling, you must remember he has no children of his own. Nor a wife of his own. How? What's he saying? Children? The wishing hour is here. How dare the man? He has no right. Gomez, wait. Let me tell you something. This is the way it used to be when your papa and I were little boys. I was little and dumb. Oh. And he was older and very, very good to me. I'll never forget that. He is a fine man, your father. You see, Caramia, I always told you my brother's an exceptional person. <laughs> Pancho, get the children dressed. We'll all go to the tower. Now that's the Halloween spirit. <laughs> Got it. Come, we'll all sing to Cousin Shy on this joyful and solemn occasion. Christmas and Easter bring wonderful treasures, but spirits and pumpkins bring far greater pleasures. Phantoms and ghosts make wonderful hosts, and every year they convene to wish you a merry shh. Bring me how. Thank you. 
Only Cousin Shy parts a cobweb like that. cold, doesn't it? It's a lovely feeling. Wednesday Senior, you may turn on the light. Perfect day, perfect marriage. Amazing with so many divorces. Yes, <laughs> lovers should try divorce first. Then if it doesn't work, then marry. How acceptable you, Moshe. Tish, that's French. Yes, I know. Tish. Come here. Tish. Tonight? Yes. Tonight belongs to Cousin Shai and the children. So it does. <laughs> So it does. This is the night of heavenly fright. Witches on broomsticks are up to their tricks. Looks like a silver bow.